the full potential of the internet and open internet. And we also celebrate intellectual rights of creators of all types of content. And uh, we're also celebrating you, people in this room, the supporters of Creative Commons, researchers, musicians, writers, bloggers. There are so many of you here. And thank you so much for supporting Creative Commons Qatar. We started a little bit over a year ago, and it's amazing just how deep and broad the content that has appeared in Qatar under Flexible CC licenses has been. So thank you very much. And while I'm thanking people, I also would like to thank ICD Qatar and our team at ICD Qatar for being supportive and for making tonight happen. So thank you very much. In our wildest dreams, we would have never expected that we would have become the global standard that we are today. I mean, to go ratchet back to 10 years ago to think about how far we could have come, we have really hit a critical, critical, and impressive point. And again, we do that because we have entities like ICT Cutter who support the work of Creative Commons, who promote events like this, who raise the visibility, and individuals like all of you who understand it and support it as well. So, thank you. So we're turning 10. We're celebrating 25 celebrations in 10 days. They're across the globe, as this um, shows. And we even have, on every continent, Antarctica, the research scientists on Antarctica are celebrating as well. So in many ways, while we are here to get today gathered in this room, it's really part of what is a global celebration overall. These are the celebrations themselves, and as you can see, they truly are distributed celebrations. The Mohatek is an ICT program that aims to raise awareness in ICT career path for all youth in Qatar age 14 to 24 years old. Working in line with Qatar National Vision 2030, the Muhatik focuses on empowering youth through information and communication technology. And even two croutons and a little bit of parsley you can make bemused, which is not a common expression and not an easy one to make out of food. And then we left this behind on the table for the, the person to discover. We gave her a good tip, but we uh, you know, wanted to also amuse the person that was uh, encountering what we were making. So we were having a lot of fun doing this. This is a great thing. Um, and I realized that this was tools that other people could enjoy as well, because anyone could play with their food. You've been encouraged not to, I assume, since you were a child. But it turns out you can have a lot of fun with it. 